So, good morning. Here we are. We're at Van Love Fest 2023. I'm all dressed, ready to festival. And we're queued up, ready to enter the iconic Elvington airfield. It's so exciting this morning. I've got a confession for you all, but please don't tell everybody. It's my first ever festival. I've never been to a festival before. I don't expect I'm looking forward to it. David said it was brilliant last year, so I'm so excited. It's just before 12 o'clock and we're queuing with all of the other vans to go in. Let's wait till the firing gun starts and we can move up the runway. Leisure bit is the way to go with David, Rachel and Roxy. Let's hit the road and explore. We visit Van Love Fest, which was held between Friday the 23rd and Sunday the 25th of June 2023 on the iconic Elvington airfield, which is located about six and a half miles southeast of the city of York. I visited the first Van Love Fest last year, which was held towards the end of May. This year, Rachel and Roxy came too. The cost of the tickets for Van Love Fest were £89.50 for the weekend, which was for Friday and Saturday night, and included two adults and a van. Dogs went free. You can get day tickets as well if you want to visit for the day. Van Love Fest includes live talks, workshops, display vans, and the facilities include toilets, LSAN disposal, food vendors, a bar, traders, and well-being. The two headline acts were Rosella and K-Class. You may remember them from the 90s. There was also the Comedy Store, a Hawaiian evening and a silent disco. Let's begin our journey heading off the A64 and heading down towards Elvington. You follow the road for about three miles and then you take a right hand turn towards the industrial estate and the airfield and also the air museum. We'll now take this right hand turn which takes us down past the Air Museum and onto Elvington Airfield. We'll follow the road round now and there's a holding area ready to go onto the runway. We were slightly earlier, I think some people had arrived about 10.30ish. We were there just after half past 11 and the event started at midday. We waited here for about 10 minutes, got our tickets checked and then started to make our way ready to go onto the runway. Now it was time for our Vanstagram photo. That's us lined up on the runway now. Surprised how many more vans came as well afterwards. And I've seen somebody in the distance. Let's go and see them. Come on, mister. <laughs> Van Love's a great place to meet people and it was fantastic to catch up with old and new friends. Very good, thank you. Uh, good day yesterday. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Van Life's such a great community and it's great to join some of the groups. I organised a mini meet at Van Love Fest with some of the CV owners group. Here they are now. 
let's take a look around some of the stalls that were at Van Love Fest. We were very impressed with the prices at the bar. Next it was off to the My Rider stand. I'd had a go earlier and Rachel decided she was going to have a go on a My Rider. Once she'd registered, you could take the My Rider out for a spin. have got loads of talks, loads of music, everything that we do here on this stage is broadcasting live, right, over 87.9, so if you're back in your motorhome, put your radio on, 87.9 for the whole weekend, uh, and also if you want requests for Van Love Radio, that's not a problem as well, all you need to do is uh, tweet or Instagram at Van Love Fest and we can take your request and we can put it on the radio station. We will be broadcasting the DJ sets live as well. It's going to be super fun. We this evening have a live PA from Rosala, if you remember her from the 90s, doing Everybody's Free and a DJ set from the very wonderful K-Class and lots of rave music and glow sticks and bucket hats and general chaos and mess and balloons. There were some very informative talks at Van Love Fest. Here's just a few of them to give you a little bit of a sample. The rest of the year, um, I work as an expedition leader, so I take clients all over the globe. I work in remote environments, be that guiding in Scotland or Himalayan peaks, jungles of Borneo, um, all over the globe. It started around January 8th, and I was getting photographs of my friends, course and Meeks, who have a big orange, had a big orange van, and they were in the Sahara for Christmas and New Year in Tunisia. And I thought, well, they're going to go for plus 40 degrees. I'm going to look the opposite. I want to look for minus 40 degrees. So the first one was bond locks. So bond locks are basically an upgraded version of a slam lock. Because what these will tend to do is they'll get like a grinder and they'll pop, they'll um, kind of saw around the outside of your lock to get into the little catches behind and then they'll just pull the lock and then the door will open. Rear bed sleeping and you hear someone rustling around outside, you can just switch a um, flicker switch and then the lights will come round. I've seen some people around here as well who've got 360 degree lights so they can just press it with one switch, all the lights come on and hopefully it's going to scare the crap out of whichever thief is 
lurking around your van trying to get inside. Everyone's waving here as the drone passes from the top of the runway all the way down to the bottom of the runway over all the vans. <laughs> Saturday night was Hawaiian night. The series of silence in the room until an 80 year old local Sheffield woman, I swear to you, stood up at the back and just went, Riocca like the wine, well, we're from Yorkshire, like the puddings. I moved to Newcastle, alright, because I, I love Newcastle. Is anyone from Newcastle? Give us a chair. Your Geordies, whereabouts? <laughs> They troll the bars, trying to pick up chicas, but none are interested because you don't speak Spanish, pero soy español y claro, chicas. They mangle simple words, trying to pick up the birds, but it will never work in gold chains and Ben Sherman shirts. Because when they say beer, they mean cerveza is gratis, no cheers, fella. They want pizza, they say paella. They want pizza, they say paella. Ella, ella, eh, eh, eh. It's pronounced paella, eh, 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 eh. No, get it bloody right. I don't come to your country mispronounce chips, do I, all right? But then it's good, it's good. Sing along now, come, good, enter it. Tra la 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 la. It's so good to be here at Van Love, Van Love Fest in York. The next song I'm going to do for you is uh, by Katy Perry called Raw, because I knew you'd join in and sing with me. Brothers and sisters together will make it through. Someday a spirit will lift you and take you there Cause everybody's free You can sing Everybody's free You guys, I should stay down here but let me go up there because I want to see you all at the back Woo, You're amazing, thank you Take it away Mr. DJ Congratulations, you have drunk the bar dry, you have officially emptied the wild camp, brand new lager out of the system. Well done, every single pint has been drunk this evening, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's available online from Malton Breweries, make sure you can find some. Dara Knight, Joe invented that, she's the drinker. Congratulations Megan Hall, you are going to be leading our convoy tomorrow down the runway. 
And right about now, if we're ready, we're going to hand over to Silent Disco. Enjoy the rest of the night. See you later. Saturday morning, let's make some breakfast. Good morning. Tap for a coffee. That's better. We'll now take a cycle down Elvington Airfield with over two miles of vans. That's over 500 vans. That hopefully gives you a little bit of a flavour of Van Love Fest. We haven't covered all of the things that were on there. Plenty more to see and discover. If you happen to be doing a video or posting some things on social media, please do let us know. We're just back from a Van Love Fest 2023 and we just thought we'd take a few moments to do our normal end of video review. I went last year, but Rachel, what did you think of Van Love Fest 2023? Do you know what? I didn't know what to expect. I've never been to Van Love Fest before, as David said. I was so excited, right? I was like a giddy little child, wasn't I, when we met with the CV lot. And then when we joined in with the other bands, I was just so excited. But what an amazing event. I loved meeting all of the old subscribers, new subscribers, people that probably would never subscribe anyway. Uh, the organisation, absolutely exceptional, I've got to say that. And there's a heck of a lot of work you can see that goes into making these things happen. So thanks to Guy and the rest of the team for putting on a fantastic event. You could really see the effort that had gone into that. 
Oh, definitely. Roxala on the Friday night was just epic. I even managed to sneak a kiss off her, didn't I? <laughs> it it's was... in the video as well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you know what? It was, it was everything I expected and more. Not going to lie, I'm glad to be home. I'm glad to have had a shower and get myself cleaned up because in this heat, I felt absolutely minging. But epic. Really enjoyed it. I love the camaraderie between everybody that's got a fan. Do you know, it's just, it's outstanding what a community. Thank you to everybody in the van community. It's amazing. It is, isn't it? It absolutely is. You know, if you've got a problem, people are there to help. It's an absolutely amazing community and it's a great place to meet people as well. So highly recommend it. The important thing is, David, what did you think of it? I, I really enjoyed it. There were some differences to last year. It was twice the size and it fazed me on the on the way in because I've said to everyone, you need to clean the passenger side. But we were sent on the other way around and cleaned the driver's side. <laughs> <laughs> so for next time, clean both sides. And no doubt we'll photograph the front then. <laughs> <laughs> clean the whole thing. So what was your highlight, Rachel? <laughs> I know what it was because I was laughing all the way home. So a little girl who will remain anonymous at this point, but I think her dad and a lot of other YouTubers will know who I mean, came round on Saturday afternoon with a cow attached, a supper cow obviously, attached to her scooter. And she said to us, do you want to buy a ticket to name a cow? And so we said, okay, then how much is it? She said, it's a pound. We went, oh, a pound to name the cow. We'll have two. Yeah, we'll have two to name the cow. What do we win? Well, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just, I wish we filmed it. It was just so funny. It was very good. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. What was your highlight of Van Love Fest 2023? You've heard ours. We'd love to hear yours. Let us know in the comments. Did you prefer going by yourself in 2022? Or did you prefer coming with me? in 2023 that's an easy one to answer 2022 by myself thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it catch you on the next one bye, bye.